Today's video, as you can tell, we're doing something with the Rubik's Cube. Uh, but before we get into that, I wanted to point something out. Uh, we got some new shirts, and uh, I'm wearing one today. You can check it out. May the Swarf be with you. Little machining pun there for you. <laughs> good, good one. So with this file, we're going to look at different ways we can align solid bodies into assemblies. And we'll kind of be doing that same thing you did as a kid to assemble the Rubik's Cube when you couldn't solve it. You know, you took piece by piece and stuck it in one by one. But I'm also going to show you a way at the very end of this video on how you can solve the Rubik's Cube using Mastercam. So here we've got the Rubik's Cube completely assembled. All sides and colors are correct. Uh, we're gonna hop into the disassembled model here first and we'll come back to this guy at the end of the video and we'll, we'll go over how you can solve the Rubik's Cube in Mastercam the correct way the, the, with turning the sides and stuff. But let's hop into the disassembled model here first and we'll go over a few things on the intent of this file. So in this file, again, this is the disassembled Rubik's Cube. You've got your main core here on the left and then all the pieces laid out on the right. This bottom row is the side pieces. There's only two colors per cube. And then the top row here, the ones on the angle are all the corner pieces. And there you can see you've got three colors per cube. Now the reason I've left this core by itself off to the side is so you have some reference into how you assemble this thing. Otherwise you'd just be picking and choosing random pieces and putting them wherever. And this is not one individual solid. These are still individual cubes. It had to be done that way so when you have this thing assembled, you can actually rotate faces. If I made this a complete assembly, these middle pieces wouldn't turn. I guess it wouldn't be a big deal, but you wouldn't see it turn in the animation. It might look a little bit, uh, a little off. Okay, so into uh, the use of this file. So we can use this to assemble these pieces, uh, all these solid bodies out here, into our main assembly off to the left. And there's a bunch of different ways we can do this. You can use transform, you could use rotate, uh, you can use dynamic transform, uh, but I think the easiest way to go about it with this file, and the main intent here is, is to actually use the functions on the model prep page called align to face. So when using align to face, this makes assembling very, very easy. Much easier than when you were a kid and you broke your Rubik's Cube apart like this, and then stuck all the pieces back into the right spot, and then you could claim that you had to actually solve the puzzle. So let's go through how to use a line to face to stick some of these pieces into our cube. Now I'm not going to go through every single piece here. I'm only going to do one or two. So what I'm going to do first, I'll grab this piece here first. So I've got a yellow face and an orange face. Uh, obviously we need to find the place where that goes. So there's the orange, there's the yellow. So we're going in between here. So let's hop into our align to face function. Select the face on a solid to be moved. So I want to move this block here. So it's very important I pay attention to the face I choose. So I'm going to pick the face opposite the yellow. So I'm going to pick this face down here. Okay, so notice that it's the face below the yellow face. So basically now I've got the option here to select the destination face I want to move this, this solid to. And that's this guy over here, but where do I want to move it? Again, I selected opposite the yellow face. So I don't want to pick this one. I want to pick it so that the little yellow face would be up here. And this would be the face opposite of that. So when I click there, notice it comes in in the correct orientation. So we still have some options here to, to move things around if we needed to. But if you can give it some extra thought ahead of time and click on the correct faces from the get-go, it's much, much easier. So I'm just going to blue check that. And notice one thing there, our model has gone to that uh, results color, the, the pinkish purpley type color. I'm just going to close out of the function here for a minute. Uh, to get rid of that, I would have to either move another block or come in and do a clear colors. Now in a part like this where we've got multiple pieces to select and move, having something show up as that, that color there uh, midway through might add some confusion. So I'm going to show you a tip for having that not happen during your translations. So in your config file, on the colors tab, there's a checkbox here that says use group and result color in transform. If you uncheck this, now I'm gonna click no here because I don't wanna save this as the default behavior for Mastercam. Uh, obviously, if you do want this to be the default behavior, you would click yes here, but I only want this to be active for this one session, so I'm going to click no. 
And I'll move the next piece in right here, the blue and red piece, which is this piece right here. So let's hop into a line to face. I'll grab the face opposite blue. Grab the face over here, which I want to move to. I'll actually be this guy over here. Notice now when I blue check it, I don't get the result color. It's taken right to its original color of that part. So once you've gone through and completely assembled your Rubik's Cube, let me just hop over into the finished file now. So as promised, I'm going to show you how you can solve the Rubik's Cube with Mastercam. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did as a kid when I first got my Rubik's Cube, and that is just start turning faces. So there is my Rubik's Cube completely messed up, completely out of sorts, and at this point, pretty much unsolvable. Except for this one little trick in Mastercam. As long as you don't close this file and save it and reopen it, this will work every single time and you look like a Rubik's Cube genius. To solve this Rubik's Cube right now, all I need to do is come up and push the magic Rubik's Cube button that every Mastercam install has, and that is the undo button right there. So as I click undo, my Rubik's Cube is going to magically solve itself.